Hi, everybody. My name is Fernando, and today we're going to do a project on Python Turtle called Christmas Card. In this project, you will be sharing how to use functions and shape drawing in Python Turtle to create a unique Christmas card every time you run the project. So as we can see right now, we're adding the moon and a couple of stars in random positions, which will in turn lead to the creation of our own Christmas card you can send to your friends. Let's begin coding our project. First of all, for any Python project we're going to make, we need to import the necessary libraries for it to work. The first library we're going to import is the turtle library, because it's very essential to do a turtle project. So from turtle, import everything. This symbol indicates that we're going to import everything that belongs to the turtle library. Next of all, now we're going to import the random library. Random indicates anything that we cannot predict, just as throw, the result of throwing dices or the result of flipping a coin. We want this so that the stars that we are going to show in our project are not the same stars or the same position every time we do a new card. So that it's a unique card every time we do it. We don't need to import the entire library. We just need to import the ran int instruction. Next, we need to define some functions to draw the shapes that we're going to show in our project. The first shape we're going to show is a circle. The circle is going to be used to draw the moon. To do that, well, let's name it draw circle. And we need to specify some parameters. Parameters are the things that functions need in order to, to work. So the parameters for this function are going to be the turtle we're going to use, the x and y position, the color of the moon, and how big the moon is going to be. So to name them, we're just going to use some easy names to recognize them. Turtle for the turtle, color for the color, x and y for the y position and the x position, and the radius to indicate the size of the moon. The instructions we're going to use to draw the moon are pretty simple. First, we need to raise the turtle so it doesn't leave a line wherever it moves. We ship that using turtle.penup. Now we need to change the color of the turtle. We use that turtle.color. And inside the, the color function, we're going to specify which color we want to use. Next, we're going to fill everything that we draw the circle in with the same color. We do that by telling the turtle to fill the color using the color we tell it to do. In this case, it's the same color as the function over here. Next. We're going to move the turtle to our desired position. So we just use go to x and y for the x and y positions we need to be in. Next, we're going to set the turtle down so you can start drawing turtle.pen down. Next, we're going to begin filling the, the circle that we're going to draw so the moon looks, looks solid, and not just like a circle with some blue on the back or the color of the sky we want to use. So we do that by doing turtle.begin fill. Next, we're going to draw a circle that is going to be the size that we tell the turtle to do. We already specified this in the draw circle function. So we just do turtle.circle to draw a circle. And the size is going to be just the radius size. The last instruction for this function is just going to be to tell the turtle to stop filling it everything that is drawing. So turtle.end fill. The next function we need to define is the function to draw the stars. This function is going to use the same parameters as the draw circle one. We're just going to call, instead of radius, we're going to use the word size. Now, most of the instructions are going to be pretty similar. We can copy all of these instructions and paste them here. We need, we need to do basically the same things. Raise the turtle, change the color, change the fill color, move to the, the starting position, set the pen down, and start filling it in. The first instruction we're going to do that is specific to the star is it's going to rotate it to the right about 144 degrees. This is just so the star has this specific pattern. You know, the five points of the star can be set up correctly. Now, because we have a five-pointed star, we need to repeat the same thing five times, which is moving the turtle and making sure it goes to each one of the corners. 
So to repeat an action, we use a loop. A loop is an instruction that repeats the actions that are inside of it the desired amount of times we specify it to. In this case, the easiest function to use or the easiest loop to use is going to be the for loop. For i in range 5 indicates that we're going to do the instruction five times. We're going to move first the turtle forward so it can do one leg of the star. How big we gonna wanna move it? Well, we already specified here in size. So we just set it to move forward, size pixels. Then we're gonna make it turn to the right. The same degrees, 144. Finally, we're gonna move it again for the size pixels that we wanted to move. It doesn't look like it right now, but when all of them move for five times, they're going to end up filling up the triangles that are going to be formed around the, the shape. We finish the function the same way as we finish the circle function and fill. And now we add another function that says set heading zero. This function basically just specifies that we want to stop pointing in a random direction. We just want it to point in the specific zero direction, which is the default one for Python turtle. Next on the list is we want to start coding the main part of the program so we can draw our Christmas card. The first thing we need to do is to create our first pen or our first turtle. We're just going to call it my pen equals turtle. Okay, this function creates a turtle for us. Just gonna give it a shape. In this case, we can just specify it for it to be the turtle shape. So it doesn't look just like the triangle, it, it comes by default. I'm gonna set the speed. This one is pretty much up to you. How fast do you want it to, to look? I'm gonna go with 10, so it doesn't look too fast or too slow. Now we need to create a window for the Christmas card to be in window equals turtle dot screen. Remember the names of the variables are picked by you, but it's very a good idea that you make them related to the thing you're doing. So you don't confuse people that look at your code without knowing what you're doing. Now I'm going to specify the background color for my window. You can pick at any of the default colors or you can pick a color based on this hexadecimal value. If you want to pick a color, but you don't know which one is the hexadecimal value, of course, you don't know in my memory, you can always Google it up in a color selector, probably. And you can find many pages, free pages that can give you, if you pick a color, it will give you the value in hexadecimal value. Okay. Remember, this is written like this, hexadecimal. Now, let's start drawing the moon. To draw the moon, we're going to first make a white circle. Well, how we do it, we already have the function, right? My pen is the turtle. White is the color name. And then the positions, well, we're always going to make the moon in the same position. So you can always adjust this. It's up to you. OK? This is the x position the y position, and how big we want the moon to be. All of these values can be adjusted by you according to your preference. Now, to make the moon be in a quarter moon phase, we're going to draw another circle using my pen with the same color as we have the sky. So it looks like it is part of the sky, you know, like it disappears. So we're going to make it disappear. We're going to move it a little bit to the left. So let's say 100, 80, and 50. The more you move it to the left or to the right, the more of the moon you're going to show in the end. In this case, I'm going to move it 20 pixels to the left. So it leaves like a thin moon behind. If you want to make it thinner or thicker, you can modify this value of the x value. So it changes the shape of the moon. You can always play around with it. 
Oh, the number of stars are going to be random. So this is the first instance we're going to use a random value. OK? We're going to pick a random number between 6 and, six and 12. Of course, you can pick the random value yourself. Now let's begin. To make the star, it's always going to be the same function. We're just going to repeat it a different number of times. OK? To do this, we're going to use a for loop, again, just as before, for a star in range, OK? Number of stars. So for example, if we got seven stars as a result of this random operation, we're going to do this loop seven times. If we get eight, we're going to do it eight times. Now, for the x and y positions, well, we're just going to pick a number. Remember, in Python Turtle, the 0, 0 position in the x and y axis is just in the middle. So we need in negative value values as well for it to be anywhere in the screen. We're going to pick a random integer between a negative number and a positive number we want. In this case, I'm going to pick minus 180 and 180. So it's confined to a little box. The same with what the y value. You can always pick different values. For example, I'm going to pick a different one here. I'm going to go with 100. The next thing we're going to do is the size of the star. The size, we're also going to do it randomly. So you should do it very quickly right now. I'm going to pick a size between, let's say, 10 and 20. Anything below 10 is going to look very small. Anything above 20, it's probably going to cover another star. And of course, we cannot control it because it's random, but we don't want it to be too confusing to look at. Last of all, in the for loop, we need to actually draw the star. So remember, draw star is the function we're going to use. My pen is the turtle we're going to use. White is the color of the, the pen. X and Y are the positions we got from here. And the size is the random size we got in the instruction before this one. OK? With these instructions, we are now ready to put as many stars randomly as possible. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a little Christmas message at the bottom. So we're going to raise the pen so we don't make any line that we don't want to make. We're going to set the color to any color you want. I'm going to go with red. Even though at the beginning of the video I showed you with yellow, but just to show you how it looks a little bit different at the end. I'm going to move the pen to where I want to show the message. I wanted to show it at the bottom. So remember, y goes up is positive and down is negative. So I'm going to go to negative x position as well so it doesn't go in one of the corners. Remember, the message is going to be quite long. so. If you do, you need to do it a little bit to the negative side. So it looks more centered. Of course, you can play around with these values if you don't like the first result you get. So let's do with minus 100, minus 180. This means it's gonna, the message is going to start a little bit to the bottom and a little bit to the left. Now, we need to write the message. To write the message, use the instruction mypen.write. I'm going to go with Merry Christmas. Now we need to specify a font for our message. A font is just the type of, well, the appearance of the letters you're going to use to write down your message. In my case, I'm going to use the Verdana font. Now I need to specify the size, 24, or you can do 28 if you want a little bit bigger. And last, last of all, I'm going to use the bold font. Bold means letters are going to be thicker in appearance. Now I need to close the bracket, and I need to close the other bracket. OK? Now that I wrote my message, I'm going to hide my turtle. So the turtle goes away, and I can see my message without having the turtle be just hanging around. So my pen.hide turtle. 
Now, before we demo the project, I'm just going to go through common problems you can encounter before running it. Sometimes, Python won't recognize turtle.screen, so you might want just to use a screen instead. Another problem might be check the name of your variables. Okay, So for example, you might commit a typo, like saying number of start, number of stars. Make sure it's the same. Right? The same with the functions. Run int. Make sure it's written just the same way as I did it. Do not add any extra spaces or capitalize any word that you haven't capitalized before. Otherwise, Python is not going to recognize your program and will not be able to run it. Last, feel free to mix it up, change it, and do any other shape you want. If you want to experiment and try to do a different shape for the stars, go ahead. If you want to make a six-pointed star, feel free to do it. Remember, this is all about being creative and doing your own thing. This is just the basis of our project. And you can always change it up to whatever you want. Now, I'm going to show you the final result for my project. As you can see, the turtle is moving in random positions. And it shows the message in the end. If I run it again, I'm running it again. And now we can see that the stars are in a completely different position from before. And I have more stars now. See, now I have 10 stars, I guess. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to get new tutorials. Thank you. Bye bye.